M0FXB welcome back to my videos learning magnetic loop antennas. Now someone asked me where can I purchase a budget option so I can just try this out and see if I like it. Now the one I've got is the MC20 by Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango that's poured and you can just about see it there on the right hand side and I don't know it's about a meter circumference there's a, a smaller loop and a tuning capacitor at the bottom so the next question is well how do, the, how do these even work you know this is a, a good question and I'm going to put in pause uh, Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango's information on this and then show you the budget one that I found for around £40. Now, I think this budget one really is only for receive, but it's advertised as working up to 20 watts. Now, I feel like the capacitor inside would pre pretty much melt if you were running this at 20 watts, uh, but maybe under 5 watts being careful, making sure you've got good SWR, I think you could probably make it work on TX. But as a receive antenna, you know, a small receive antenna on your table at home, preferably out in the garden, on your garden table, I think this is going to be a nice a nice addition to your shack. And they're only about 40 odd pounds in the link that I provide. And, you know, the, the price varies where you look so let's um let's you know let's let's for example if you're not using thing like chat gbt uh, i highly recommend you do download that app it's free and we ask the question how does it work and it says here uh and i'm re I'm, i am reading it you know not ashamed to say that i search and read things as i learn Unlike a dipole or Yagi antenna that radiates using the electrical field, a magnetic loop radiates primarily using the magnetic field. The loop current generates a strong magnetic field and minimal electrical field close to the antenna. This, this makes it useful in noisy environments as it's of, often susceptible to electrical field noise like power lines, ETC, tu tuning to resonance. The loop and the ca capacitor from the tuned resonance circuit, like an LC circuit, and you'll be familiar if you've got the M0, uh, you're tu you tune the capacitor to match the desired operational frequency, which basically means turn the knob until it's loud, okay? Um, and then obviously there's fine tuning. If you're gonna start transmitting is where you really wanna make sure you get that SWR good. And it says here coupling the radio transmitter connects to the loop using a small coupling loop inside the main loop or a gamma match or transformer type couple like a toroid and you've seen that inside one of my videos earlier actually where i had a toroid and a capacitor and we were tuning the capacitor clicking the the um the toroid where it's selecting the different loops inside um so you don't have to get really techy on this because what do you really want you want a budget loop antenna because they do work well they are narrow band what does that mean so when you're tuning through you want to look at your spectrum you're not going to see you know 100 um, kilohertz megahertz whatever a bandwidth in front of you because then they're quite narrow in what they're listening to so just remember that so if i show you the budget one and I'm, of course i recommend paul's antenna and then you can go to places like uh, moonraker and other sellers of course and you can see these are hundreds of pounds there's one here um, al705 loop um, um, there's lots of options pause one i know works great this one here i'm going to test and it was like 40 pounds delivered because i've had so many people message me saying to me i do want to get um a loop antenna but i want to try one out first and i don't want to spend you know um 300 pound doing that which is completely understandable um that you don't want to do that so with this kit you get a bnc adapter so239 the loop is the larger it's almost like a, a very strong patch lead that loops around and then in the middle of that you've got these the two tuning wheels and you literally click the top one till it's loudest then tune the bottom one until it's even louder God, what does the red button do i actually don't know because i haven't got it although i've ordered it and yes i do have to buy all my kit um so it says here yeah, meter dial meter dial i'm just looking nice that it's got an so239 connector we don't have to use a bnc adapter although bnc's are very liked the company is called wish color so well, that switch maybe the switch is a bypass hmm, i'm not really sure uh i know i should know but i don't and uh, and i'm not embarrassed to say i don't know something 
I don't have to try and guess because I don't know. If I don't know, I don't know, but I do need to, if I want the answer, I need to learn. I need to work hard and uh, and learn the answer and not just send loads of messages out expecting everyone to do it for me, which I, I probably get 30 messages a day like that, where they it, basically want me to do it for them. No, no, you've got a hobby and you have to work hard and learn to use your equipment. Um, and that's com it's only work. It's only hard work, and there's no rush. You can do it in an hour if you if you're very good at learning. It might take you several months. I sometimes spend several months learning something before I ever make a video. Um, and that's it. Work hard and then enjoy the benefits. Um, if you don't work hard and you want everyone else to do it for them, then you found some some very good friends. That's all I can say. They're doing it all for you. Anyway, thanks for watching my channel. The link for the budget loop is in the description and pause as well 7-3 all the best